Hey guys, I'm Luis from Video Car. Today we have a four cars. Actually, they are five. Just one more is coming. It's coming to four Subarus. One is the Outback, two Outbacks for Esther. So we have a problem with the hail damage for the last storm in Dallas, in Denton actually. So we're gonna put a new windshields. So the problem today is our um, systems for the wire system, or line systems, of course, they cannot be used because they are on our way, all these cracks here. So we're gonna go like an old school. We're gonna use just the handles, you know, the spool, good uh, cup knife, blades, and suction cups, wire, okay? So we're gonna start on this one first. And let's do it. So first remember, we're gonna take all these parts here. These clips, they are fast release, but actually they made it to broke when you try to pull it. That's what it does, so I don't know why they designed those kind of clips. But you can save just pulling for one side. Okay. okay. I'm gonna try to break those clips because you have to be placed for the new ones but dealers don't have any stock so I have to save it like this so you don't break it these ones are really easy just pull the pin Remember, this is not the size, but I'm using just to loosen. When they back on, you gotta use the right size of sockets here. Just careful because all is wet and it's got a harmful hole all around. It can just slip from your fingers. Alright. Now remember, you have these little clips. Okay, so you get those. Let me stick plastic here. Now, I'm gonna give you advice. When you put the new, the aftermarket back on, careful on these corners. Don't go too high because sometimes this this corner is gonna break the window. The, the aftermarket. So I think that the, when they made the glass, those bands are, are not really good. So just careful. This one, you know, something easy. Okay, I will try to get all done today because it's gonna be probably late today. Alright, got one coming up. When you got that problem, just loosen from here. That little pin. There you go. Alright. There you go. This is one right there. It's a little hard, you have to pull the, the frame, but I, I, I won't do it. Just that, just in that way. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna strip all these parts here. This one just is the hooks on there. Okay, remember our line. It's right here. Okay, because I'm just gonna pass for the next ones, I'm just gonna drop all these parts right here. All right. Okay, now we're gonna start cutting. You know why? I'm gonna do something more faster. Let's pass to the next one. Okay, we're gonna make this one fast. So let's pass to the next. Uh -huh. It's the same system than the other one. Uh -huh. Careful. 
in here. Take your clips, same, you know, like the other ones. Okay. Okay, you got a problem with that? It's already out, just. Don't loosen. I need that one with my fishing line. <clears throat> Remember, don't forget that clip. It's just right. There. Okay. So I'll close everybody out. I remember the same thing with this one. Okay. Okay, now this one has a heater. Right there. Now let's go inside. Remember, we're gonna take that one. Just a little loose in right here. Push them up, down. Just loosen that. Okay, right there. Remember, this one has a in the part or two. Okay, we're gonna put those parts inside. Let's go to the next one. Just to put this one under here. There you go. Okay guys, do the same again. Okay, don't break it, just pull them from the bottom right there. Done with this part, just put it inside. Let's get this little 
penis Get the plastic stick here. Remember, we're gonna loosen those corners so we can go like this. Oh, maybe first this side. Then. That one. Uh. Yeah, I didn't put the covers here, but remember, I don't have many, so I got just one cover, so I can have to just pass one by one. So take the you know, review mill covers. And, and go to the next one. Be just careful because this is uh, the battery was dead, so that's why I got this car running. And now it's time to turn it off. Let's see. That's good. The battery already charged. Okay. So I don't want to drop anything here. It's, you know, the belt can catch towards through it to my face and just damage the engine, something. So just careful. Yeah, these clips are really hard, especially when it's winter time. I almost broke all of it. That's why sometimes I leave the engine just warm a little bit, and just when when you can take the clips out when they are flexible. Okay, usually I record this in Spanish or English because my Spanish is better than my English. But today it should be in English because my boss wants to see cars is not damaged more than people say. So that's why I have to just record it in English this time. Okay, so now let's take this one hose, let's hose. Okay. All right. Oh. And last we're gonna pull a review mirror right there. Uh, try to don't let this hand right here because they can damage the lines. So just pull your plug out. Okay. Okay guys, so we will strip all the parts here. So it's time to start cutting off. Let's back to the first one. So I don't need this one anymore. Alright. 
we download our tools here okay so we're gonna start cutting from just using these tools right here cut knives handles and wires all right so we're right back okay guys we are already back here so i'm gonna use the long blade i made that one a long time ago my handles i'm gonna use just water and lubricate a little bit the bottom and just start cutting so first one remember we gotta go through here careful with the paint okay it's really good cut because today is warm so the glue is cutting really good you can see it's almost out Careful with your turns. Okay. Try to put your feet on the ratchet right there. On. right there remember just control the handle and you don't have any issues with the scratches okay so let's go the second one You want to cut, get a cut fast, right there. Okay, go right there. Sometimes that one is because the stop is really thick, really big. So just careful. Just remember, it's not about the tools, it's how to use the tools. See, it's not even any kind of scratches like that. here
that's why you safety glasses many glassmen don't use it so it's really dangerous get one of these in the ice So we finished with some this ones and just right here. So we're gonna get the bottom now. So using the water. There's a little ungreased products here just to help me when I cut it. The bottom right there. Just a little right there. Okay, and I just cut right there. That's what we use in the old school. Use the blade and cut knife. Right. This one is ready. Let's go to the second one. the same just the water here ungreased products just a little not too much okay because we have to clean all the surface of the pitch wheel or it's gonna contaminate our products of urethane products so that's the when they hit right. after that it's coming in easy third one. I'm gonna use the same technique. Let me just water. It's a little lubricant right there. in the same style so water a little bit never touch the dash or you're gonna put marks with your fingers you gotta be a couple of inches far from the dashboard you don't make any mark with your fingers what you are scratching. That's when I'm close I just back my hands like this. And it's already out. Okay guys, so we're gonna cut all this.
Okay guys, so that's my blade. I made that one a long time ago. So now it's time to pull those windshields out. So this is my rack. I hit my stand, sorry. Okay, we're gonna put this one right here. Okay, so we pull this one out first. Uh -huh. I forget, unplug my line for my heater. Okay. Ready. You know, I try to just go fast, that's why. Okay, this is the first one. Third one. And the last one. Okay, we got another heater one here. Let me get that. Okay guys, so that's why gonna go fast go on this way okay. okay so this is the last one and that's the last one okay guys as you see I already pulled four windshields we strip all the parts you know we're gonna just clean them up all the glue the urethane I'm just gonna primer glasses and everything I will be just you know I just come back when everything is ready okay guys so we already primer this one and the other four okay so already primer just we cover the scratches it's clean all is ready to set now already prime uh, primated all the glasses they are primated clean uncontaminated with the beta breed f1 my g800 so all is ready i got my glue here so it's ready to set so i'm gonna start with the first one the out back you're gonna start careful with your connections at the bottom right there you don't touch the part you already primer okay all right so we're gonna use just the suction cups. Okay, now on this vehicles, it's really difficult just find exactly where is the bee, because you see the, the and some part of this there's like a little wavy right here so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna put the glue on the glass and one line is gonna be at the bottom right here so with those is gonna just connect the glue like this the same when the guy is putting the glue right here and they make just bridge it's gonna do the same way so I'm just gonna get this one we will track the number right here 428 car is going to be here for 24 hours or more so 
gonna come right here. Now, if I want, I can just follow the line. But what happens is sometimes it's a little difficult just reach exactly the part. So what I do in this case, is I'm just gonna put the B, you know, on this part here. This one's going inside. Remember, just right there, reach the big number right there, lay it down, set the big number here. It's gonna just hold a little bit. Pushing down. Okay, that one's ready. Okay. As soon as I finish, I'm just gonna run a leak detector just to make sure all is right. Okay, let's go with the second one. Okay, this one has a heater too. Let's careful with your plugs. Don't touch the areas we already primer. All right. Okay. Okay. So we're doing the same thing. I'm gonna use this one right there. So I'm gonna use this a little of this one. right here
Okay, and one more. It's a little piece. We're still using the, the B, I mean the tip already cut. I'm gonna use this one. See what I use this one. Like that. Same way, we're going to reach the bin number. Top right there. Okay. This is already attached. Remember, your glass isn't gonna fall anymore. At the first touch, already stick at the pitch wheel. In case you need a little hook right here. Next one. Check this one out. The same position, it's not moving anymore. Okay, now we've got the next one. So already here, I got two on the same spot because I didn't have more room. Just careful, don't scratch it. Uh, oh. That's just the glue. Okay. Sure, that was a primer. Okay.
primer. Okay, let's put another one here. This, there's one. I'm gonna use that old one right there. I used that one a, probably a couple hours ago. So it's still good. Let's clean this one. It's a very cold. Right there. We're going to use this one for the next. Right. I'm going to reach the main number here. Right there. Get the top corner, top corner, get a pin number, and just push it down. I got a little spider. Okay. Take the new one off. So it's more and we finish. Two more to do and we finish. Okay, I got the other one here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so we're gonna use the new one. And the two new ones, right? Quite a few, but it's gonna just throw away. this one for the next okay okay remember the bin number find it the corners and push up the number is fine I can use this one Okay guys, let's go to the next, the last one I mean, that one is going to be the last. Okay guys, and this is the last one. Don't touch the primary area. Okay, we gotta open one more.
And this one, I just run the, I just run the bee all around. This is not a problem. Okay, so that one was the last. Just gonna fix this bridge. Okay, guys, so this is the last install. I just need to put all parts together and I'm done so I don't have more SD, SD card so I'm just gonna put all back together all right remember corner your corner bin number okay Okay guys, so I'm done here, all is done, so we finished our five windshields, it's almost four o'clock, so we're ready, just gonna make a run, as you see, there's no glue around, so all this it, let me just pull the headliner, you can see the seal, if you can, let me just pull a little bit, the headliner here, well, it's a little, a little hard. I don't want to damage, but I want to show you. Well, this one is really strong, so I just leave it like that. Let's just run the leak detector. Okay, the light. Clean. Okay, the next one you see is no glue inside so you don't see any spot or big spots coming inside let me see if this one I can pull it up and you can see the glue okay yeah headliner is kind of too much wide as you see as you see a bee it's exactly right there, it's shining, it's very smooth, very, very nice. 
so it's no problems with the seal okay we're going to turn the detector here This one, okay. You see, it's clean, there's no glue, everything is set really nice. This one, as I said, I can just pull the headliner, I don't want to damage, but it's really nice beam. You see, scratch it, you got a signal, it's just cast on top of the edge of the glass. Okay, this one the same, we don't have any clue, nothing show up. No. Alright, this is the lane departure. Let me show you the beat right there. You see it? It's very inside. This one is a leak detector. Leak detector. Yeah, it's gonna show you the signals when, yeah. if I install the windshield, I got it, you know, space or oh, bubbles. Oh. They show you where it's exactly. Oh. Oh. That's gonna help you. You have to just push it down, uh -huh. or just a little bit more glue, something you can fix right now. And see. They don't have to call you and just come back and, yeah. you know, try to find it. Yeah, this is very nice tool now. Yeah, this helps a lot where you don't have to camp. Yeah. Okay, let me see here. It's clean. Okay. Oh. Okay guys, so all is clean. We don't have any glue exposed inside. Nothing is messed. No broken parts. Um, we will check.